Now, the electric and magnetic fields turn out to be perpendicular to each other, and perpendicular to the motion of the wave's propagation. In this diagram, from, for example, the wave will propagate from left to right along this direction, or perhaps from right to left. The point is, the electric field varies in a direction that is perpendicular to the motion of the wave, and not parallel, like a sound wave. Uh, as well as this, the wave does not rely on the collision of particles to propagate. We can create electric or magnetic fields even in empty space, where there's no atoms, no air, uh, no, none of anything. That means that even if we don't have any particles at all, we can still get these electromagnetic waves traveling or propagating through empty space. So uh, these properties make it a transverse wave because the electric field varies perpendicular to the wave's motion and not parallel. And it's a non-mechanical wave because it doesn't rely on particles to transmit it, right? Fairly straightforward so far, I think. What does the speed of an electromagnetic wave in a vacuum depend on? Does it depend on the wave's amplitude, its frequency, the speed of the source that's shining the light or shining the electromagnetic wave, or none of the above? So let's go through the options. Its amplitude. Now, does the speed of a sound wave depend on its amplitude? Well, I'm afraid not. In general, in fact, the amplitude of a wave does not affect how fast it travels. If it did, then we might have, for example, louder sounds traveling more quickly than softer sounds, which we know isn't the case. In the same way, we cannot change the speed of light by making it brighter or less intense. B says it's frequency, but for the same reason as for sound waves, we know that this won't change light waves speed. So remember that the frequency of a sound wave determines its pitch, how high up it is. The, the frequency of light, in fact, determines its color, but we'll get to more on that later. The point is, different colors of light and different pitches of sound all travel at the same speed through, or usually about the same speed. So this won't affect the speed of light in a vacuum. How about C, this one looks likely, the speed of its source. Now, we know that if we have a moving object, and it's, say, a car, and from that car we throw a ball straight forward, that ball will end up moving faster than the car, simply because we're adding the speed of the car to the speed of the ball. We've learned a bit about this in relative motion. But it turns out that we can't increase the speed of light simply by moving very fast when we first start shining that beam of light. So in fact, the speed of the source does not affect the speed of light. It means that if we have a very, very fast rocket ship, moving at almost the speed of light, and it shines a little beam of light straight forward, then from our point of view, this beam of light will only just be outrunning the rocket. And so no matter how fast the rocket goes, the beam of light from our perspective will always move at the same speed. If you're wondering what happens from the rocket's perspective, then I'm afraid you'll have to wait for that answer. It turns out that if we're looking at things moving close to the speed of light, like that, then very weird things begin happening, involving time and space themselves changing due to these huge speeds. If none of these are right, then the only answer left is D none of the above. And it turns out that, of course, this is the correct answer. In a vacuum, beams of light, as well as all electromagnetic waves, always travel at precisely the same speed. And that happens to be 299,792,458 meters per second. Now, you might at first assume that's an approximation, but in fact, this is an exact number. And it's how we define the length of a meter. If, for example, we discovered that the speed of light was a little bit faster or a little bit slower than we thought it was, then instead of changing this number, 
we would simply change how long a meter is 